Hallelujah. 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 All praise to the Most High. Hey, first and foremost, we definitely want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Most High. All right, we say, call Allah, but now we Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right, that's all praises to the infinite, inexplicable God, who you people call God, who the Hebrew is, is Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten Son of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls uh, Jesus Christ. All right, you're looking at the 12 tribes of Israel. We are out here for our people and our people only to edify our people, to educate our people, and to show our people the words of this prophecy that's going to shortly come to pass. All right, and it's our time to come out here and wake up and say that the so-called black man or woman has lost their name. Why right? we have lost the name that our Father has given us. We call ourselves all types of things in this in the world, but no one's called himself the true children of God. No one's called himself. Give me Exodus 4:22. No one's ever called themselves uh, the true men of the Lord, the nation of Israel, right? Give me the book of Titus, uh, chapter 3, verse 3. Because we was out here at one time celebrating homecoming. We were out here at one time doing all types of things that was not permitted by the Father, right? And we had to repent and come back and learn our true identity and nationality. And the beautiful thing about learning who you are in these last days is repenting and coming back to the words of the Heavenly Father and being obedient, right? So read what you got, King. The book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 22. Yeah. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh. Unto who? Unto Pharaoh. If you don't know the story, Moses is talking to the king of Egypt named Pharaoh, right? And God has given Moses a command. And he's telling him this, right? Read it from the top one more time. King. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh. Uh-huh. Thou sayest Yahweh. Thou sayest the Lord Yahweh, who you call God. What did he say, King? Israel is, Israel is my son. Say it again. Israel, Israel is my son. So the nation of Israel is God's son. Right. Come on. Even my firstborn. So our job is to come out and show that your name is no longer black. Your name is no longer African American. Right. Your name is no longer Johnson or Williams right. or Franklin or any other word that anybody other than the Most High gave you. God said that Israel is my firstborn. Right? That's straight out the book. So now you got to understand who are the children of Israel today. It's not the people in the land. I can tell you that for sure. Right? It's the people that goes back to the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American. The true children of this book. The people that went through the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and uh, from 15 down to verse 68. That's who the true children of this book is. And like we said earlier, we were all uh, in, in one way, shape, form, or fashion a part of the two-thirds. A right. part of the crowd. Doing all the things that you're doing today so we don't judge anybody. But it is our job to come out and show correction and to show reproof of sin and iniquity. That's right. Right? Get that for him. It's the book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We were also sometimes foolish before we understand who we were in these last days. Read it again, King. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We were also sometimes foolish in fraternities, in sororities, right? Trying to get an education, trying to make the most money by any means necessary. That's called foolishness. We were adulterers at one time, right? We were drug users at one time. We were alcoholics at one time. And a beautiful thing called God's grace, the free gift that it says in Romans 5, 15. That's what we took hold on and we never let go, thus said the Lord. And right. my high willing will never let go. Because Christ said, he that endures to the end shall be saved. So regardless of what your pastor tells you tomorrow, you are not saved yet, beloved. You got to come back and learn the words and endure to the end. That's how you get salvation, That's true right. salvation. That's right. Right? Read on, King. Disobedient. We were what? Disobedient. We were also disobedient people, right? Come on. Deceived. We were what? Deceived. And that Christian church, that Christian doctrine called Christianity has deceived us, right? A Trinity doctrine has deceived us. A virgin birth deceived us. Being saved, once saved, always saved doctrine has deceived us, right? Come on. Serving diverse lusts. Serving diverse lusts, right? What I'm going to do after the club? Who I'm going to talk to after the club? I'm going to go through my Rolodex and try to find out what woman I can make a whore out of when Deuteronomy 23 and 19 says no whore should be made out of the daughters of Zion, right? And that's all we see out here is boredom. Right. All we see out here is, is guys exalting themselves over the words of this father. Wake them up, right? Come on, King. And pleasures. And what? And pleasures. All these diverse pleasures, ecstasy, uh, 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 all these different drinks, 
all these different mixtures, all the doctrines of New Ageism and Islam and all these things that's going around that God never ordained to the black man. Right, teach us. God never ordained to the black woman. He never said that. He said, keep these commandments and what? And live, right? Everybody's dying at a, at a higher rate these days because they disobeyed the laws of God. Right. And if you heard the priest's message earlier, the wages of sin is death, right. Uh, right? And it's our job to give life and life more abundantly, thus saith the Lord God. Right, come on. Living in malice. In what? In malice. It's a lot of malice. It's a lot of bloods and crips. Dark skin, light skin, old versus young. All these things is all malice and hatred for your own brother. But guess what? We teaching love out here. And the, and the truth does hurt. But you know what? After you lick those wounds, what do you do? You got to come back and keep the laws of the Most High God. Thus said the Lord, right? Come on, King. Shalom, shalom. And envy. And what? And envy. There's a lot of envious. There's going to be a lot of men that's going to get robbed tonight because of envy. There's going to be a lot of women that's going to get taken advantage of because of envy. Right? But we got to come back and be obedient children to the Most High God. Right, brother? That's correct, right? All right. All praises. We're all king. Hateful. Hey, what? Hateful. A lot of haters out here, right? Everybody want haters. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Nobody should want haters, right? Because haters do wicked things to good people, right? There's no such, I, there's no idea of I need more haters. But when I go on my social media, I see people saying they want more haters, right? What sense does that make? You want to be at peace with all men, correct? Correct. That's what the beloved brother Paul said. Be at peace with all men. What type of idea that we want more haters? That don't make sense, right? It's going to be a lot of haters. Come on. And hating one another. And they hate one another. Come on. But after that, the kindness and love of the Most High, our Savior toward man, appeared. Come on. And the kindness and the love of the Most High is given his son, Hamashiach Yehoshua, to die for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only. Right? You're in a privileged position to learn not only who you are, to get your name back, and to learn that Christ died for you and no other nation. Come on. Not by works of righteousness, come on, which we have done, uh huh, but according to his mercy, he saved us. By the washing of regeneration. And to understand that, right? You only saved by the by the blood of Jesus Christ, who the world literally calls Jesus Christ. Real name, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. You better get used to that name. You gotta get used to learning who you are. Right? You call yourself black. You call yourself Negro. You call yourself everything in the world. But you never called yourself the true children of Israel. You never called yourself God's chosen, God's elect, the ones that are called. And when you understand the name Israel, the Bible makes more sense. This is an ethno-religious book, meaning it's only for the children of Israel and no other people. You're looking at the records of King David. You're looking at the lineage of Jesus Christ, right? A name means everything. And it's our job to teach this word. Read what you got, King. Give the me Isaiah of, 52 and 7. The book of Isaiah, chapter 62 and verse 2. Come on. And the Gentiles. So I can give me 10. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Go through. Go through the gates. Go through where? Go through the gates. Go through the gates. We are in Greensboro, North Carolina, November 2023, and we are teaching the words that our forefathers gave us, that our foremothers passed down to us, not Christianity. Come on, King. Prepare ye the way of the people. Prepare the way of the people, whether you like it or not. We're going to do our job because last time I checked, Right, Paul said that the blood got to be washed from us, and we are guilty from the blood of all men. Mm. So it's our job to wash our hands of the blood that we want shed and cleanse it. Right? Come on. Cast up! Cast up the highways! Uh -huh. Gather out the stones! We got to gather these stones. We got to rebuild our nation. Come on. Lift up a standard! Lift up a what? Lift up a standard! I guarantee you, your pastor is not going to lift up a standard for you. Right? Your imam is not going to lift up a standard for the people. Right? All these religious leaders and all these pastors and all these men of influence that look like you, that can dribble a basketball, that can throw a football, they will never lift up a standard for the Most High God. Right? You got to come back and learn the words of Jesus Christ. Don't, don't listen to another man tell you. You got to read out of the book. Right? That's all we encourage. Read out of the book. Come on. Lift up a standard for the people. Come on. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Come on. Say ye to the daughter of Zion. Come on. 
to the daughter of Zion. Everywhere in this book, you're going to look at salvation for one nation and one nation only. You'll never see salvation for all people, all kindreds and nations and tongues. Right? Come on. You got a Say question, ye. Bro? You got a question, bro? You got a question? Nah, he was telling me to come over there. Come on over and listen, bro. But I was telling him, I'm God body. I'm my own God. You your own God, right? Now, now, God what is that going to do for the rest of us, though? Hey. To each should follow on the prophecy to each his own. Dang. What's the prophecy, brother? To each his own. Give me, give me Everybody one prophecy. Everybody have their own prophecy. Give me one, brother. Everybody have their own okay. label to build on. All right, brother. We don't care. To each his own. I got brother. you, King. I got you. Somebody Sir, get in the car. God body. Say ye to the daughter of Zion. To the daughter of who? The daughter of Zion. We're not going to our own selves, right? Because our own selves got us in calamity. Our own selves had us broke. Our own selves had us tired. Our own selves had us making bad decision after bad decision. You got to go back to the God of the Bible. Come on, King. Behold, thy salvation cometh. Our salvation's coming. Come on. Behold, his reward is with him. And his reward is with him. Come on. And his work before him. And his work is before him, right? He said our own selves had us. Our own selves got us in this, con in this condition, correct, brother? We didn't. Who no. did it to us? Who got us at the bottom of society? Your own self. That's what I just said. But listen, your <laughs> own self is only going to be what your own self want yourself to be. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, If you All consider right. yourself as a God body or a prophet. Read what you got. Hold better on. let him finish it. Better than, better than, my brother, I can lay in the bed every day and not be nothing. And but the Bible I, tell I you don't do that. I continue to wake up every day and be better. All yeah. praises. There Myself. you go. That's what you're supposed to That's do. That's God's body. All praises. All praises. Don't nobody tell me to do this but myself. That's right. Which is the God that's in me. Okay. Okay. Which, I which got makes you. me God's body. Okay. Don't know a long clock wake me up. I wake myself up okay. and keep telling myself that I need to be. You feel me? Why, why, why the hater? Why, why, why the hate, sis? Why the hate, sis? That's what we just got to be talking about. You got to right. understand before you rebuke, right? Read what you got, King. Man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter hey, 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 52, hey, 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 verse 7. Uh -huh. How beautiful, how what? How beautiful, how beautiful, come on. Upon the mountains are the feet of him uh -huh. that bringeth good tidings. So our job is to come out and bring the gospel, the good tidings, also known as what? The good news, right? Our job is to come out and just give you the words. Give you the understanding. What you do with it, it's not up to us. It's up to you, right? Come on. The publish peace. That publish what? Peace. See, everybody wants to come by and not give peace. We're supposed to be at homecoming, right? We're supposed to be home, right? But where's the peace when you come home? Right. It's a lot of haters when you come and bring this word out. Right. Because this word cuts like what? A two-edged sword. That's right. Cutting asunder, right? Nobody wants to, not everybody wants to hear the good news. Everybody wants to be stuck in the ways that keep them comfortable. Right. You gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable, especially in the in the end times. Because I guarantee you, your pastor's not lifting up that standard tomorrow and tell you why Palestine and Israel are at war. Right. Hell no. They're not telling you what's coming up next. Right. But guess what, the men of the Lord, we can tell you what's going to follow verbatim. Right. Thus said the Lord, because why? We're not better than nobody. All we did was just apply ourselves to this book and read. That's right. We got rid of everything else and took on the words right. of the Most High God. Come on, King. That bringeth good tidings of good that publish salvation. That publish salvation. How do you get salvation in these last days, right? Is it just confessing at nine years old that at Christ come into my heart and, and allow me to live and then I go back and I roll up a fatty, right? I roll up a doobie, right? I do all these things. No, that's not true salvation. That's not how you get it. You pass the lie. Who's gonna lift up a standard in these last days? Right? You're going to see these men up here, and you're going to see all the men. Just look for the fringes, and they're going to help you find the true path. Come, Come on, King. That saith unto Zion, uh -huh. thy God reigneth. Thy God reigneth, right? We're not the most high God, right? You, 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 we Allah him, but we're not Yahweh. We're, we're not the most high, right? The most high has his own deal. We're under him as his children, right? Come on, King. Verse 8. Uh, that's it on that. Go ahead and drop that. Read Come. what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. Uh, For lo, 
Thine enemies make a too much. Thy what? Thine enemies make a too much. So the same person that called you a, a, a color in a crown box, the same person that calls you two different continents, and you can't name one tribe you come from in Africa, right? You can't name one tribe you come from on the west side or east side or wherever. You can't trace your lineage back, but you call yourself African and American, right? These enemies called you that. You can't even trace yourself back to that landmass, but you call yourself that. And there's no pride in that being called two different continents, Africa and America. America's named after an Italian map maker named America's Vespucci. Right. So even when you call your last name American or you say your citizenship, like the sister said earlier, I'm an American, you're calling yourself by the name of the so-called white man today. Right, teacher. You see what I'm saying? That's right. What is your last name? What is your name, black man? Right. What is your name, black woman? Who are you? Who do you go back to in this book that you say you love? Oh. Right? We all okay. And they that hate thee. And they that what? And they that hate thee. The same man that hate you took crafty counsel to have you say, I will not call myself Israel. And then they put an imposter in the land to call themselves Israel. So now you think that those guys over there are the true children of the Lord, and they're not, right? Come on, King. And they that hate thee, and our people gotta be pent from the sodomy and the lust that we come in and that has in our body. You can fast that off, brother, right? You can pray that stuff off. Only if you become obedient to God will God hear your prayer. Right. Come on, King. And they that hate thee have lifted up the heads. Uh -huh. They have taken crafty counsel Come on. against thy people. Against who? Against thy people. They didn't take crafty counsel against everybody. They took crafty counsel against the children of Israel. And they got you going a hundred times harder for homecoming than for the book of the Lord. Right. right? Mm -hmm. You're going a thousand times, a hundred percent hard for anything but thus saith the Lord. Why is that? Why are we gathering ourselves together for homecoming, but never for the feast days? Never for the high holy days? You have, you have separated Christmas. I mean, you've added Christmas and took out Hanukkah. You've added Easter and took out Passover. And you say you love God. And it's okay. We can teach you how to properly love the Most High God. Come on, King. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people uh -huh. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Come on. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. That's the problem because you don't look at yourself as a nation. You look at yourself as a color. You look at yourself as mixed or uh, two continents, right? Or a term, a derogatory term. Right. You never saw yourself as a true nation. The so-called East Indian, he has a nation. He has pride, right? The so-called Chinese, he has a nation. He has pride. Right. Watch army. this. You say who? Got an army. They got an army. The so-called African man, whether you want to go into the East African, the West African, everybody in that, they have tribal pride. What about the tribe of the black man, right? Where is the black man's pride at? Come on, King. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Come on. That the name of Israel. What? That the name of Israel. What is your name? Come on. May be no more in remembering. That's how they made you forget who you are and substituted your nationality with a whole different, a whole different identity. Right? That's it on that. Read what you got, King. Give me Genesis 32, 27. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Come on. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. If there is any error in this people. I, I got news for you, black man. When they allow you to buy Swisher Sweets two for a dollar, right? And get high out your mind. That is iniquity that they want you to stay in sin, brother, right? When they allow you and they encourage you to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, guess what? That's iniquity. That's sin. When they allow you and they encourage you to worship a white messiah, to worship the white man, guess what? That is sin. And when you're in sin, you will never be able to reach your full potential. That's just plain on facts, right? All, all men, all women, you're looking at one third of your potential right here, right now, right? You get high, you get drunk, and you want to come out here and have a good time and continue to sin, right? right? The Most High said, no, no sin, so you can actually fulfill your potential. Right. Everybody going hard Monday through Friday when they come in them textbooks. Everybody going hard Monday through Friday when they go to that nine to five. Right. When are you going to go hard for the words of the Most High God and what he commanded you to do? That, and look, the love of the Most High is above everything. Right. Like the, like the priest said, do you love God 
more than your own father and mother, right? No, you shouldn't, right? So read what you got, right? because error and sin allows you to stay in this docile state of mind. Come on, right. King. If there be any error in this people, uh -huh. and they sin against their God. And if they sin against their God, rolling blunts, right, pouring out the women. Come on. Let us consider that this shall be their ruler. What y'all doing, brothers? And hey, y'all believe in the words of the Lord? Y'all believe in the Bible? All praises. Y'all got to keep the commandments, brother, right? You got to go back to the Mosaic law and have faith in Christ, all right? All praises. We don't king. And they sin against their God. And if we sin against our God, come on. Let us consider uh -huh. that this shall be their ruin. And our ruin, right, is sinning against God. Right? Come on. And let us go up. And we shall overcome them. And they're gonna over and they did that today. Now they give you the worst part in Greensboro and make you call it home. Right? right? They give you an HBCU because they didn't want you at their historically white colleges. And then you call that pride. And then you allow everybody in every nation to come into your campus to learn curriculum. Right? We got to be set apart, especially in these last days. The Most High God said, be ye therefore what? Holy, which is separate. Right. You got to separate yourself from the other nations. That's right. When they didn't want you on their campus, why are we so eager to let them on our campus to learn their curriculum? Right? Come on, King. Verse 21. Uh-huh. But if there be no iniquity and if there is no iniquity in the nation of israel come on in no nation uh-huh let my lord now pass by and, and listen i got news for you if every so-called black hispanic and native american man woman and child were to follow the words the ways of the most high god you'll have no more knees on your neck you won't see a george floyd you won't see a tamir rice right, right? you won't see a alton sterling you won't see a a, a, a sandra bland right you won't see these names that we read about week in and week out because, listen, the other nations are never going to deal when the children of Israel got their minds right, right? It's never going to work like that because everyone knows what the Lord did to the, the children of Egypt, right? The Babylonians died because the Most High God freed us from that and delivered us from that. Come on. Let's the Lord defend them. He's going to what? Defend them. And Yahabashah, a black man, right, going to crack that sky. He's going to defend the one-thirds of, of the, of the so-called Israelites, right, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. But our people are ignorant on that. They don't know that. So we got to come out and teach these things. Get the blood off our heads. Come on. And their God be for them. He's going to what? Be for them. And the Most High God is only for the nation of Israel, the true Jews of the, true Jews of the Bible. Right. Come on. And we become a reproach. A what? A reproach. And now you're looking at a reproach right here. I look across the street and I'm seeing them promote oysters, right? Is oysters uh, lawful according to the Bible? No. What about catfish? No. What about shrimp? No. Lot These are all sins according to the Bible. And there's no wonder why they got our people walking around, men dressed as women, women dressed as men. All kinds of confusion. That's why we call this place spiritual Babylon, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Gomorrah, spiritual Egypt. Because you have taken on the ways of the, of the people that oppressed our people. Right? That's it on that? And we become a reproach uh -huh. before all the world. Uh, before all? All the world. And all the world listens to your music and they laugh at you. They watch your movies and they laugh at you because everything in our music, everything in our movies is about what? The destruction of our people. Name me one good rap song that's going to uplift our people that's recent. You can't find it, right? Name me one female that's positive for our young sisters. You can't find them, right? Name one brother that's righteous that's positive for our young men. You can't find them, right? When's the last time that BET promoted a black man named Jesus Christ? When's the last time BET promoted a black woman named Mary Magdalene that was able to repent from whoredom and come back and keep the ways of the Lord? Not everybody wants to be like the Cardi B's of the world. Everybody wants to be like, uh, uh, what's the name, Nicki Minaj. Meg Thee Stein. Meg Thee Stein, and the list goes on and on and on. And we got young girls that look up to these women that have no shame in their in their, in their lifestyle. Bloody red. Right? That's it on that? Come on. Come on, give me what you got, King. We got to come back to the name of our people, man. Right? The book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 27. Uh -huh. And he said unto him, give me numbers What is thy name? He said, What? He said, What is thy name? Hey, black man, what is your name? Black woman, what is your name? Uh, Who are you? Right. Right? Who do you go back to? Right. What, where, where is the pride in being black? 
Where is the pride in being African American? It's in, exactly. The pride in being black in America is homosexuality. Right? Right. That's what you hang your hat on, and that's what you're fighting hard for and getting marching in the streets for gay rights. Here's the last time we're going to get the rights of being so-called so called Israelites and not being called black men anymore. Right? How y'all sisters doing? Let me ask y'all a question. What is y'all's what is name? What is our name as black people? What, do we, what should we call ourselves? I'm going to show you who you should call yourself. Read it for them before they leave. And he said unto him, uh -huh. What is thy name? What's your name, sis? I like this. Come on. And he said, Jacob. Come on. And he said, Thy name shall not be called no more Jacob. Come on. But Israel. Uh -huh. But Israel. Uh -huh. But Israel. We are our name, sis. Moving forward, you got to call yourself Israel. Right? What does it mean to be called Israel, brother? What about you, sis? What does it mean to be called Israel? What does Israel mean? I'm going to show you. Read on, King. For as the prince has thou power with God. So the name Israel that you should call yourself is a prince of power or a daughter of Zion. What about you, brother? You believe in his words? Right? To be called Israel, you are a prince of power. The most high God is the power, and you are a prince of the power. That's, That's right. teach But it's only when you come back to the laws of the most high God. Because the scripture said you're going to die like men if you don't. Right. Right? So read it again for the brother. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. Uh -huh. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. Uh -huh. For as a prince has thou power with God. So we teaching our people that the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, the Latinos, right, of the indigenous descent, the Dominicans, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, West Indians, these go back to the true tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, right? And when you see brothers that look like you, when you see brothers that are in the same condition as you, you got to have more grace and more patience with these brothers, That's man. That's right. Because we are all brothers at the end of the day. Right. And it's our job to look out for each other. That's the law right there. That's the Torah. That's the law of Moses that That's you right. got to go back to, bro. Right. See what I'm saying? Bring it up. All right. So let's sit on that. All free. Let's sit on that. 28. Come. Give me verse 29. Verse 29. Uh -huh. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, uh -huh. thy name. And he said, Wherefore is that that thou dost ask after my name? That's it on that. Right? Huh. So, God, so our name, right, as so-called Negroes in America, it should no, no more be called Negroes. If these words resonated with your spirit, that's right. Right? If these if the last times, right, these words resonated with your heart and your mind and your spirit, then you should no longer call yourself yeah. black in America. Because that black is a color. Black is the color of that cop car. Nobody's that color, right? No one's the absence of light. However you want to define black, no one's that. We are all going back to a language, a nationality, a God, and a set of laws, statutes, and commandments. God. And it's our time to wake up to that. Because if you go into this book, and when you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, read from 15 down to 28, it's going to describe you, bro. It's going to describe our, our forefathers and our ancestors, right? Read what you got up. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 16, verse 7. We're going to close it out soon. Go ahead, King. And put fire therein, and put incense in them before Yahweh tomorrow. Number 6, uh, uh, Swaki. 6, 6 and uh, 27. 6, 27, Swaki. Come nah, you good, huh? What's going on, bro? How you doing, sir? You believe in the Bible, brother? Can I read you a scripture real quick? One, one scripture. One scripture. Give me Isaiah 59 and 20. We was hitting this last week. We're gonna we're gonna help you out, bro. Right. So before, as we looking for a scripture, have you ever? Are you familiar with this information right here? Of who we are and why we're out here. So what do you think about that, bro? Like, what do you what do you think we're out here for? What what's our overall message? Preaching the gospel, right? All praises, King, right? So I got a question for you, right? So we teach our people that the so-called black man, right? I don't know what you identify as. But the so-called black man, right, talking about us, we go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. Whether you want to call them the Jews of the Bible or the 12 tribes of Israel, God's chosen people. You understand what I'm saying? So I got a question for you, right? Read what you got, King, and can you help me break this down for the brother? The book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 20. Come on. And the Redeemer, and the, and the Redeemer come on. shall come to Zion. And so who was the Redeemer um, growing up? Who, who do we know as the Redeemer as? Who 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 was who's that who has that title redeemer? Yes. Say that again. No, the re, we're, we're the redeemed. Who the redeemer? Jesus, right? So read it again. 
and the Redeemer uh -huh. shall come to Zion. So Zion is Israel. Come on. And unto them that turn from transgression. That do what? That turn from transgression. So the way I understand this verse, help me out, is that Christ is coming to redeem the Israelites that are out of sin. Right? So do you, do you agree with that? Or how do you how would you understand that? So so according to the scriptures, get them sin. Sin is the transgression of the law. So what we out here teach our people is that Christ is coming to save the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans that keep the laws of Moses. You see what we're saying? So so with that information, right? I don't know if you understood that. I don't know if you agree with that. Okay, all praises. So get that for the brother real quick. The book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. So Christ is coming to keep the people, to redeem the people that abstain from pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, right? That keep the high holy days, the feast days, the right. Sabbath days, right? That, that love God with all their heart, mind, and soul, right? right. Wearing fringes, right? And, and all the things that come with it. We can go through a whole litany of things, right? So, so understanding that, brother, like moving forward, now that you understand that, are you prepared today, right? To to, to, to no more learn sin, right? To absolve yourself from sin and uh, all iniquity and to keep the laws of Moses from this day forward, brother. And listen, listen, we have a we have a way we can teach you the laws of Moses. So I'm not saying you're gonna learn it tonight. Right. But according to the scripture, Christ is coming, this is Old Testament, New Testament, Christ is coming to redeem those, right? That, that no longer sin and have the faith in Christ. That's right. You see what I'm saying? You can't, because faith without works is what, brother? Faith without works is what? Starts with a D. Ends with a D. When they put you in the grave. Dead. Faith without works is dead. So you have to have faith in Christ. A lot of our people have faith in Christ. They believe in Jesus. But there's no works with it. The works is keeping the laws of God. Keeping the laws of Moses, right? Somebody get him a card, right? We got cards for you, bro, right? We got a class, right? We got all these things that we can teach you how to be redeemed. Because if you're not keeping the laws and you're not being obedient to God, there's no redemption, right? And that's why we out here to show how to get true redemption, all right? So knowing that, your nationality moving forward is what? Not anymore, right? No, not even black, right? The children of Israel, right? But there's a lot of melanated people, right? You got East Indians, they're melanated. Right? You got Filipinos, they're melanated. A whole lot of melanated beings, East Africans, are melanated, but no one can identify themselves as the people of this book. So moving forward, you know now that you're no longer black, you are a children of Israel. You are God's chosen people, bro. That's right. right. Love you, King. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All praises on the other side. All right. That's it on that. So look, we're getting ready to shut it down. All praises. Hey, with that, let's get one more. We're going to shut it down, right? Give me the book of, um, say what? I got Isaiah 66, 15. Nah, we're going to drop right, that. Give right, me uh, right, what you got. Black Number six, oh, right. The original yeah. Cowboys. The book of Who Numbers, chapter that 6, verse 27. <laughs> and they that shall man? put my name upon the children of Israel. And they shall what? And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel. So opened up this lesson or this, 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 this understanding about who the name of the Lord belongs to. And the Bible just said, what? They shall put my name upon the children of Israel. So oh. God's name, Yahweh, is only on the children of Israel. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Ricans, right? You Latinos, right? You are God's chosen people. It's time to come back and repent at the last of these last days, right? That's it on that. Get this last one, we're gonna close it out, King. Okay? The book of Acts, chapter three and verse 19. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Repent, he said what? Repent. repent. The most high God through his prophet, his, 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 his men, Paul said, repent, come on. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. And, 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 and be, be converted. converted. It's our job to come out here and teach the people how to properly repent and how to properly be converted right. in these last days. Last time I checked, this is not being lifted up in the churches, right? Your pastor's not saying this tomorrow. I guarantee you, right. because he needs that money, That's right. right? He needs that, he needs that fame. He needs <laughs> that right. filthy liquor, That's right? right? That's right. That's it on that? No, there's more. Come on.
that your sins, that your what, that, that your, your sins. So when you transgress the law of Moses, you broke the Shabbat, right? You broke the feast days. You ate pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster willingly. Come on. That your sins may be blotted out. And that's how you get your sins blotted out, by repenting. Right. True repentance is not going back as a dog returns to his vomit. Right. All right, come on. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All praise to the Most High. That's my time. I want to give all, all right. praises going on to the Most High God. We say, Kohala, Abinawa, Yahweh, by Hashem, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. We love y'all, Grace Bob. And next time, y'all got to repent, man, and come back and keep the laws of God. All right? Come on, Shalom! 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 Come on, Shalom!